Scientists often call beautiful and healthy coral reefs like this one the largest living structures on Earth. However, they are being replaced by this, bleached, diseased, and dead coral. Mark Aiken is the coordinator of Coral Reef Watch for the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration called NOAA. He says three years ago, a rise in sea temperatures in the area of the U.S. Virgin Islands in the Caribbean killed about half of the remaining coral. The level of thermal stress, the heating that caused that bleaching in 2005 was greater than the previous 20 years of satellite record combined. Aiken says NOAA studies have identified two key factors in the process of coral destruction. We believe that above about a two degree increase Celsius, uh, greater than what we've seen over the last hundred years, uh, will be a critical level for coral reefs. In addition, the, the increase in atmospheric CO2 not only causes an increase in temperatures, but it also r changes the chemistry of the oceans. It drops the pH or makes the oceans more acidic. The latest U.S. report serves as a new warning of the effect of global warming in the oceans. It says that the nation's coral reef ecosystems, particularly those close to populated areas, continue to face intense threats from human activities such as fishing, sedimentation, and recreation. Jeanette Waddell is a marine biologist at NOAA. Coral reefs are in some ways a canary in the coal mine. They are extremely sensitive to changes in their environment. Scientists sometimes refer to coral reefs, the most diverse marine ecosystems, as the rainforests of the ocean. And they say there are more fish around reefs than in the remainder of the oceans. And there is more at stake. Doctors say coral reefs are also a source of medicine. Dr. Eric Chivian is with Harvard Medical School. We are maybe losing species that hold enormous promise for human suffering, for relieving human suffering and preventing human death. Reports say growing concentrations of carbon dioxide and pollution, warming of ocean waters, as well as disease, overfishing, and damage from fishing nets are part of the problem. Aiken also expressed concerns about the speed of change. We're seeing increases in temperature at rates that we haven't seen any time in the last several hundred thousand years. So the problem here is that while corals can adapt, we don't see any evidence that they're going to be able to adapt quickly enough to respond to these rapid changes. The new report on the state of U.S. coral reefs finds conditions similar to other regions. Scientists estimate that at least 30 percent of the world's coral reefs are already dead. They also say that human activities harm not only the reefs, but also mankind. For producers Lima Palacio, Jim Bertel, VOA News.